will start off with a little relaxation. So come on down. So your choice, you can bring the knees together or separate the knees as wide as your mat. Whatever feels comfortable. Just begin to shift your weight back. Walk the fingers out in front of you and then make sure that those elbows are releasing down towards the ground. Maybe you'd like to bring a block or a book underneath of your forehead. It's a little bit too much on the, um, on the head if there's feel any pressure sinuses or high blood pressure. Just take a couple of minutes here in child's pose. Feeling your chest rest on your thighs, feeling your hips reach back towards your heels. Noticing the expansion through the upper back. As you breathe in, how everything kind of just falls in together as you exhale. No particular type of breath here, just an easy in and out. And using this time and this breath to begin to release, release anxieties, Release the thoughts. Release the responsibilities. 60 minutes here on our mat to simply just follow our breath and our movement, noticing what feels good. Choosing between that discomfort when we come into some more challenging postures or deciding that today is not the day. Listening to your body, and recognizing that today is a different day, with different abilities, different objectives. Take about five more breaths. Very intentional with the breath. Lengthening, but matching that inhale to exhale. One more great big inhale. And then exhale to let it go. Slowly begin to lift your head up. And then start to walk your hands in towards your body. Release your right hip to the outside of your right heel. And then come onto your bottom. Finding your way into Sukhasana, our easy seat. Either crossing the legs by placing a foot inside of a knee crease, maybe a foot into a hip crease, or maybe the feet remain on the ground, you decide. Start by pulling the shoulders up to the ears. Rest the shoulders back, and then relax the shoulders down. Closing the eyes, feeling the crown of the head reach high. From here, keeping the eyes closed, simply reach the arms up towards the sky, let palm find palm. And then pulling all of that energy down right there in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs into your sternum. Noticing if you're hinging forward 
See if you can't bring those shoulders up over the hips. The shoulders feel as if they're reaching up towards the ears. Actively begin to press the shoulders down. From here, take a great big breath in. Open up the mouth and let it go. Two more like that. Big inhale. Complete exhale. Last time, biggest breath in. Part the lips and send it all away. Bringing your thumbs up to your forehead, your seat of intuition. Taking a moment to decide if you'd like to set intention or dedication for this evening's practice. No goals, no expectations, but simply an idea, a mantra to follow throughout practice. Something that will inspire you and keep you moving during those uncomfortable or challenging spaces. One final breath here. And then on your exhale, begin to bow forward, finding namaste. And then lifting yourself back up, re-extending the arms up towards the sky, opening up the eyes. From here, press your palms towards the front of your mat. Relax your shoulders down. Spark your fingers. Yeah, fill the shoulders. Just relax. Let's see if the arms can't start to come back in line with the ears, feeling all of that length through the torso, from the armpit all the way to the fingertips. One more deep breath. And then on your exhale, release the fingertips down to the ground, chin towards the chest. Flip the palms to the sky, reach the arms up and over the head, release the head back. Palms face down, chin comes down, lowering fingertips to the mat. And then back up towards the sky, gaze goes up. One more time, release those fingertips down. This time we'll stay. So just let those fingers rest right there on the mat and then bring the chin in towards the chest, feeling that nice stretch through the back of the neck. From here, lifting your head up and then sending your gaze over that right shoulder. In that stretch. Maybe your gaze can find its way just a little bit further back behind you. And then finding your gaze back through center, this time over towards that left shoulder. Keeping those arms reaching out, fingertips pressing into the mat, still feeling very lifted through the chest. And then finally bringing that gaze back through center. This time we reach the arms up towards the sky, interlace the fingers, and then press the palms up. Again, noticing if you can't bring those arms in line with the ears. And then this time bringing the hands behind the head, sending the elbows wide, resting your head in your hands, and then sending the gaze up towards the sky, opening up through the elbows, finding lots of space through the chest, through the collarbones, and noticing where the activity is taking place, right? Through the shoulders, and a lot of work through the abs. So squeeze that belly in towards the spine. Taking one final breath here. And then looking down towards your belly button, bringing the elbows in to meet, coming into your seated cat. Nice little stretch for the shoulders and the biceps. Very gently guiding that head so that the chin comes closer to the chest, feeling the stretch all along the spine. One more breath. And then lifting the head up, this time reaching the arms out wide, finding lots and lots of length, and then let's hug it out. Bring that right arm on top of the left as you squeeze yourself tight, chin into the chest. And then lift the head up, send the arms wide. This time as you hug it out, left arm on top, again, chin into the chest. And then open it up. 
Two more times, just alternating which arm is on top. Open up wide. Last time, bring it all in. Send those arms out, open up. Gaze to the sky. Yeah, feel as if you're really just opening up the world. Beautiful, one more breath here. And then on your exhale, release the hands back down to the ground. This time planting the feet on the earth, about hip distance. And then walking the hands back behind you, shoulders roll up, back and down. From here, we're just gonna tick tock the legs from side to side. So just start to drop the knees together in one direction. Doesn't matter which way. We're just gonna alternate side to side. Give me a little bit of massage there from the hips. Pressing those palms into the ground. One more time, side to side. And as you come back through center, we're gonna keep that right knee hugging in and we're gonna extend the left leg out. Yeah. Coming into an early Janya Shashasana, so bringing that right foot to the inside of the left thigh. So it's your choice. We're gonna take a fold here. If coming into this fold is too much because we haven't really done any hamstrings, Feel free to slide that left heel in towards your body. Go ahead and reach the arms up towards the sky. Take a breath in. And then on your exhale, begin to fold forward. Yeah, so again, if it's too much on the hamstring, feel free to just bring that knee a little bit closer in towards the chest. Wherever you are, keep the gaze out in front of you. Try not to look down towards the knee. You really want to flatten out through the back. Again, navel to spine. Squeeze that belly button in. Take another deep breath and then lift yourself back up from here, bringing that right knee back towards the sky and then stepping the foot to the outside of that left thigh. Yeah, feel yourself lift up. And then from here, let's take a twist over towards the right. So walking that right hand back behind you, either left hand coming towards that right knee or maybe hooking the elbow. You decide, sit up tall, crown of the head reaches up and then look back, bring it out. Detox, yeah. Nice way to open up through the spine. Lots of immunity built through twists. One more breath. And then coming back through center, we're just going to take that twist over towards the right. So both hands, I'm sorry, towards the left, both hands to the outside, lift up, and then gaze back behind that left shoulder. Final breath. And bring it back through. All right, from here, we're going to come into our figure four. So we're going to keep that right knee up and then open it up so that we can begin to pull that left heel in towards the body, pressing the foot down in towards the mat. So you can stay right here, hands by your side, feel yourself lift up. If you want to intensify the stretch a little bit, maybe you interlace fingers in front of that left shin and then pull that shin in a little bit closer. Yeah, wherever you are, feeling that nice opening through the right hip, flexing those right toes in towards the shin. Finding one more breath here. And then if you have a bind, go ahead and release it. Hands back by your sides, extend out, both legs out. Gonna take a forward fold, arms reach to the sky. As you exhale, fold forward. Again, feel free to bend the knees. Gaze goes forward. Feel the heart lift rather than round into the spine. Two more great big breaths. Using the exhale to take that Take that pull a little deeper. One more time. And then lifting yourself back up through center. All right, here we go. This time we're going to pull that left knee in towards the chest. Okay. And then we're going to open it up for our Johnny Shashasana. So bringing the foot to the inside of that right thigh. Go ahead and reach the arms to the sky. Maybe pivoting the chest a little bit closer towards the thigh and then coming down for your fold. You decide maybe that knee is bent. Perhaps it stays straight, but wherever you are, gaze is out. You want to keep a long spine rather than rounding into it. Two more breaths here in your stretch. And then lifting yourself back up. 
Here we go, bringing that knee up and then stepping it over top so that we can take our twist. Go ahead and reach the left arm to the sky, release it back behind you, either right hand to the knee or hooking the elbow as you sit up tall. Take a breath and then look back behind you. Again, using the exhales as the tool to twist a little bit deeper each time. Final big breath. And then unwinding yourself, this time taking that twist over towards the right. Press the palms into the ground, feel yourself lift up, and then bend elbows, looking back behind you. Last deep breath. Last time to twist it out. And finding your way back through center. This time bringing that foot on top of the thigh so that we can set ourselves up for figure four. Hands by your side, just to pull that foot in. Okay. So again, you decide what works best for you. Maybe it's right here with hands by your side or maybe it's interlacing those fingers in front of the shin, feeling yourself lift up as shoulders relax, left toes fall into that left shin. Feeling free to close the eyes, coming inside, noticing all of the sensations. Last big breath. And then extending the leg out, Go ahead and send that left leg to me, and then open up the legs into a straddle, all right? So if you need to readjust your bum, go ahead and pull your blessings out from underneath of you. From here, arms reach to the sky, interlace the fingers, creating those steeple fingers. We're gonna work into the abs a little bit here. So what we're gonna do is start to reach those fingers forward. And as we do, we're gonna round into the spine and then just kind of take it to about half that halfway down so that you feel your tailbone pressing into the ground and then lift back up. Send the fingers forward, round into the spine, scoop through the belly, lift back up. Keep going, trying to get those arms in line with the ears as you rise up, yeah. And that nice scooping sensation, taking it down for three, rise up for two, fingers to the sky, last time, this time as you roll your way back, hang out right here, all right, so you can stay as you are, or maybe you start to lift up the heels, feeling those legs ignite, Squeeze them through the belly. Maybe you even lift up the calves. Hold wherever you are for three. Over two. And one. Woo, nice job. Go ahead and lift it back up to the sky. Hands come down. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let's take a quick Baddha Konasana. Hands come to the outsides of the ankles. Lift up through the heart. And then on your exhale, start to hinge forward. Chest towards the feet, using the elbows to open up the knees. If you want a little bit more of an inner thigh stretch, gaze is forward. If you want to take a little bit of that stretch out of it, a little more for the low back, then chin in towards the chest. You choose what feels better right here in this moment. Two more deep breaths wherever you have settled. Nice. And then slowly begin to lift yourself up here just bring that right ankle on top of the left and then roll yourself over into tabletop position finding those hands right there underneath of the shoulders taking the look back towards the knees hiding the toes behind the knees and then a, a few rounds of our cat and cow here so go ahead and drop the belly down send the gaze up towards the sky feel that belly button drop down tailbone up and then press away as you round into the spine, scooping through the belly again. Belly drops down, gaze goes up, and then round into the spine. One last time, go ahead and drop it down, find your cow, and then scoop through the belly, coming into your cat, eventually finding your way back into neutral. Come here. Go ahead and step your right foot back, 
Just start to rock back and forth a little bit. The further you come forward with the shoulders, the more of a wrist stretch you'll get. So if that feels nice, maybe you take that stretch a little bit deeper. And then eventually coming into stillness. From here, we're gonna lift that right foot up. And we're gonna reach that left arm out, coming into spinal balance. Noticing if you feel like you're starting to teeter off to one side or the other, trying to find balance, really working to use your whole hand, that right hand pressing into the earth. Last breath, maybe you can lift up a little bit higher. And then on your exhale, come back into your tabletop position. One round of cow and cat, so belly drops down, knees up, and then find your way into your cat. Back into neutral, here we go. Step the left foot back, press the ball of that left foot into the mat, and then just rock back and forth a little bit. Nice stretch for the calf, maybe for those wrists, depending on how far forward you come. And then eventually coming to stillness, this time lifting that left foot up and extending the right arm out. Plug that right shoulder in, right thumb up towards the sky. So you can flex the left toes in towards the shin. Lots of space, lots of length. Another deep breath. And then on your exhale, release it back down. Cat and cow, here we go. Take it through around each direction. And we're gonna add on. All right, so this time, step the right foot back. And then again, press the ball of that right foot into the mat. Now, from here, we're gonna curl the left toes under. All right, we're gonna challenge our shoulders and our abs here. So pressing the ball of the right foot into the mat, ball of the left foot into the mat, begin to lift the left knee up. Holding here, pressing back through that right heel, squeezing in through the belly, pushing away with the hands. Yeah, feeling all of that core strength ignite. Hold here for three, for two, one more breath, and then lower the left knee down, bring the right knee to meet. Deep inhale, complete exhale. All right, this time left foot steps back, ball of that left foot, and then curl those right toes under. Press into the hands, knees are, I'm sorry, shoulders are right there over the wrists, and then lift up that right knee, pressing away. Yeah, should feel a little bit of a shake through the shoulders, maybe through the belly, squeezing that belly button into spine for three, for two, and one, lower the right knee, bring the left knee to meet, inhale, and exhale. All right, here comes our challenge. Step the right foot back, curl those, or press the ball of the right foot into the mat, and then again, coming back into that same space where we just were, all right? You can stay here. Obviously, this is a challenge, so if this feels good, stay. If you wanna take it to that one notch more, press into the ball of that left foot, and then lift that right leg up. Yeah, lots of work for that left quad. Really feel those right toes pull in towards the shin. Here for three, for two, one more breath. Release the right foot down, drop the right knee down. Left knee meets, inhale and exhale. All right, here we go, last time. Go ahead and send that left foot back. Curl the right toes under, lift that right knee up. Again, your choice to stay or this time to lift that left foot up. Yeah, right there in line with the same as if we were in that spinal balance. Feeling the shake through that right leg for three, two, and one. Drop it down, both knees to the earth, hips to the heels, take your child's pose. Your choice, maybe the hands are out in front of you, Maybe they're back by your ankles. Maybe you're rocking yourself from side to side. Just finding a couple of breaths here to reconnect. And then from here, go ahead. 
and send the gaze between the thumbs. Lift yourself back up into tabletop position. One more time to challenge those thighs. So curl the toes under, this time lifting the knees just to barely hover, right? Barely hovering, almost as if you could touch the ground with the tips of the knees, but staying here, really feeling that core work hard, squeezing through the quads, pressing through the hands for three, two, and one, lift your hips to the sky, downward facing dog, pedal it out, wag your tail, give your head a little shake from side to side, maybe a couple of yeses, a couple of noes. Just finding a little bit of movement here. And from here, go ahead and release your heels down towards your, down towards your mat. Pull the chest back towards the thighs. Again, here in down dog, but in stillness. So noticing, right? Are you using the whole hand or are you simply pressing the palms into the mat? You want to feel those fingertips. You want to feel all of that space in between the fingers. You want to see if those elbows can't line up with the ears. If the chest can't find its way closer towards the thighs and potentially the feet, the heels a little closer to the mat. Taking one more deep breath. And then rising up onto the tiptoes. As you do, begin to roll yourself out into plank pose. Pressing the palms into the mat, shoulders forward. Hold here for three, for two. On one, take it back to downward facing dog. Breath comes in, and breath goes out. Take it back to that plank pose, come forward. Yeah, feel yourself reach back through the heels for three, two, and one. Lift the hips to the sky, heels to the ground. Last time through, big inhale, big exhale. And then back to that plank pose. Option to stay here in your plank. Or maybe you lift that right arm up to the sky, taking a modified version of side plank. If you've got that right hand lifted, lower it to the ground and then lift that left arm to the sky. Lower it down. From here, hips back to the sky. And then send the gaze to the thumb. Slowly begin to make your way to the top of the mat. Once you get there, bringing those feet to hip distance and then grabbing opposite elbows, allowing the head to hang heavy, heavy as you sway from side to side. On your next breath. Go ahead and release the hands down, bend the knees as much as you need to. And then from here, we're gonna keep that bend in the left knee and keep that right leg straight. Bringing that left hand underneath of the nose and then sweeping the right arm to the sky. It should feel a nice stretch to the outside of that right hip, that right glute. Take another breath here in your twist and then switch it out. This time bringing the right hand underneath of the nose, bending into that right knee, keeping the left leg straight, and then sweeping left arm to the sky, gaze up. Breath comes in, and breath goes out. Go ahead and release back down. Take a halfway lift, hands to the shins, flatten out through the back, and then exhale to fold forward. Again, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale to fold. One more time, lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold, bend deeply into the knees and then sweep the arms to the sky, reach up, look up, palms together overhead, and then bringing those thumbs to your heart space. Notice the shoulders, can you relax them down? Can you really squeeze in through the belly, feeling all of that tension through the shoulders release but all of that power through the core. Again, arms reach high, and then we exhale to fold forward. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step the right foot back. 
Keep that right hand down, left arm sweeps to the sky, take a twist, and then release the hand back down. Step the left foot to meet, high plank, and then lower the knees to the earth. Squeeze the elbows into the ribs and then slowly lower yourself all the way to the ground. Once you get there, find your baby cobra. So lift up through the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together, press through the tops of the feet, gaze is over the bridge of the nose, one more deep breath, and then curl the toes under, come back into your high plank, and then hips to the sky for downward facing dog. Right leg reaches to the sky, and then step the foot in between the hands. Left hand down, right arm sweeps up, twist, and then right hand back to the ground, left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Reach it high to the sky. And then take it right back down, fold to the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Left foot steps back. Here we go. Again, twisting over towards the right. Left hand down, right arm up, gaze high and then release the hand to the ground. Without sweeping the foot, step it back to your high plank, release the knees to the earth, and then slowly, slowly lower. Don't just dump down to the mat. Take your time getting there. Once you get there, maybe this time it's a full cobra. Maybe it's still a baby cobra. You decide what your low back feels like today. If you're up, lower yourself back down. Curl the toes under, back to high plank. Hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up. Step the foot in between the hands. Right hand stays down, left arm sweeps up. And then back down to the mat, right foot, top of the mat. Inhale and exhale. Take it high to the sky. And then fold back down. Inhale, exhale. Just gonna speed it up this time. Right foot steps back, right hand down, left arm up, twist. Hand comes down, step it back to your high plank, your choice, knees up, knees down. Make your way through a vinyasa. Eventually lifting the hips to the sky for down dog, right leg reaches up. Step it through, take your twist. And then right hand down, left foot forward. One more round, inhale, exhale. Reach it up high, fold it forward, lift, and lower, left foot steps back, twist and open, hand down, step it back, high plank, your choice, vinyasa, or always option to skip, hips to the sky, breath comes in, let it go, left leg up. Step it forward, twist to the left, left hand down, right foot top of the mat, inhale, exhale, reach it all the way up, and then pull the thumbs to the heart, release the shoulders down and back, taking a moment to again reconnect, feeling the breath move, feeling the Feet of the heart, right there underneath of your thumbs. When you're ready, arms again, find the way to the sky. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to half lift. Hands down, step it back. Option for vinyasa or straight to down dog, you choose. Once you get to down or facing dog, go ahead and reach that right leg to the sky and then step the foot forward. Rising up into our high crescent lunge. So press into that right foot, ball of the left foot, arms again in line with the ears, and then sink into that right knee. From here, sweep your hands back, chest comes to the thigh. Reach it back up. Sweep the hands back, finding your balance. Reach it to the sky. One more time, sweep the hands back, Reach it to the sky. And this time, palms come to the heart, twisting to the right, left elbow outside of that right knee. Option to keep the thumbs at the heart or to separate the arms. Maybe if those arms are separated, you have a half bind. 
Maybe it's a full bind. Wherever you are, feeling your heart open up, trying to stack that right shoulder on top of left. One more big breath. And then unwinding yourself, coming back into that high crescent lunge. See if you can't find a little bit more as you sink into that front knee. And then palms come to the heart, this time taking it into our warrior three. Pressing all of the weight into that right foot and then lifting up through that back leg. Left toes reach to the ground, trying to let that left hip relax down as well. Finding another breath here in your balance. And then opening it up into warrior two. Finding warrior two, reaching through the fingertips. Yeah. Another breath as you reach, 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 relaxing through the shoulders. And then flipping the front palm, taking it to reverse. One more deep breath. Coming back through to warrior two. And then releasing the hands down to the ground. As you step back, keep that right leg lifted. And maybe it stays lifted as you vinyasa. And eventually finding your way back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open the mouth to let it go. Left leg reaches to the sky. Look forward, step it through. Come on up, high crescent lunge. So again, taking a few breaths here to find your balance, working those arms back. Really nice stretch right here through that front hip flexor. Option to stay just a little bit lower. And then sweeping the arms back as the chest comes to the thigh and then back to the sky. Sweep the arms back and lift. Last time through, reach it to the sky and palms to the heart, taking your twist this time over to the left. So again, options. Maybe that elbow is outside of the knee. Maybe the palms stay together. Maybe there's an opening, a half bind, or a full bind. Three breaths. Where you are is where you're supposed to be, so breathe into that space. Last big breath. And then finding your way back into that high crescent lunge. Again, palms to the heart. This time, Virabhadrasana three. Left foot stays grounded, right foot lifts. Flex the toes in. Feel your heart lift, upward facing dog. One more big breath. And then step it back, warrior two. Readjusting that back foot, probably finding a little bit more space. Shoulders finding their way into a peaceful place. Lots of space. Gaze over that front middle finger. One more breath. Flip the front palm, take it back to reverse. All that space. Allow that left body to open up. One more breath. Bringing it back through to warrior two. And then hands down to the mat. This time left leg goes high, maybe it stays lifted, maybe you lower it. Your choice, vinyasa. Coming back to downward facing dog for three cleansing breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, big breath in. Exhale to let it go. Sending the gaze forward. Top or step, feet to the hands. Find your halfway lift. And then exhale to fold. Bend back into the knees. This time finding our way into our Utkatasana, our chair pose. So really press the knees together. 
Start to sink the booty left. Take a look at the toes if you can't see them. See if you can't shift your weight back just a little bit. Arms one last time in line with the ears. Final deep breath. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Hands down, option for vinyasa or downward facing dog. Once you get to downward facing dog, reach that right leg up towards the sky. Go ahead and bend the knee and open up the hip. Make some circles with that right ankle and then switch the direction. From here, re-extend the right leg up. Bring the knee to the nose. Send it up. Bring the knee to the right elbow. Send it up. Cross the knee to the left elbow, send it up. Looking between the thumbs, step the foot forward, warrior two, rise up. Just one breath here in our warrior two. And then taking the bend out of that front knee, pivoting the toes over to the right, finding our way into our five-pointed star. Arms up overhead, nice. Feel your heart reach up. And then from here, hands come behind the back, right thumb on top, interlace the fingers, press the fist down. Really feel your shoulder blades squeeze together, gaze up, and then on your exhale, begin to fold forward. Sending that fist up and over the head, if that's comfortable. If not, it stays at the low back. You choose, maybe somewhere in between. Maybe you separate those feet a little bit wider if you've got a little bit more space. Working that crown of the head down towards the ground, knowing it certainly does not have to touch. Just the idea. Take another big breath. And then from here, bend into the knees, begin to rise back up, reaching the arms back up to the sky. From here, heels pull in, toes go out. Come into cactus arms and sink into your goddess. Yeah. Nice. Just be in this space. It's one of discomfort. It's one of challenge. So again, maybe coming back to that intention that you set. Holding here for three. Sink a little bit lower. Two. One more breath. Reaching the arms back up to the sky, coming back to that warrior two, and then hands down. Step it back, flow if you want it, skip it if you don't. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Left leg reaches to the sky. Step ahead, bend the knee, open up the hip. There's those ankle circles, maybe a little snap crackle, should feel pretty good. And then leg to the sky, knee to the nose, send it up. Knee to the left elbow, send it up. Cross the body, back to the sky, look forward, come on up, warrior two. And just one breath here. And then taking the bend out of that front knee, this time pivoting the left toes in, hands up over the head. Bring them back behind you. This time left thumb on top, a little bit of an awkward grip. Shoulders roll up, back and down. And then again, we hinge forward, coming down towards the ground, opening up through the shoulders in whatever way works for you. Option to separate those feet a little wider if that feels good. Last two breaths. And slowly the bend comes back to the knees. We rise back up towards the sky. And again, heels in, toes out, coming back to our goddess. This time as we squeeze those shoulders together, those elbows release down. 
We're gonna rise up onto the ball of the left foot and then drop the left heel down. Rise up onto the ball of the right foot and drop it down. And lift up again, left foot and lower, right and lower, left and lower, right and lower. Take another breath. Can you sink one more time? Nice work, everybody. Lift it back to the sky. Back to that warrior two. Hands down to the ground. Vinyasa, if you want it, we're gonna land in our child's pose. So once you're there, again, you decide. Knees wide or knees open, or I'm sorry, knees closed. Arms in front of you or hands back behind you. Noticing the difference. How does the body feel now in child's pose by comparison to the beginning of class? Do you find that you have a little bit more space to shift the hips to the heels? Is there a little less pressure releasing the forehead down? All of the ways that our body evolves during yoga, so many benefits, the breath, the muscles, the mind. One more deep breath. And slowly begin to walk the hands in towards the body. Again, coming into our seated position. So rolling off to that right hip and extending the legs out in front of us. From here, we're gonna pull that right knee back in towards the chest, okay? So knee comes back in towards the chest. This time, we're gonna take a little bit of a rocking of the baby. So start to lift that knee up. So grab onto the outside of that right foot and to the outside of the knee. From here, we're just gonna make a little swaying sensation side to side. Getting into the hips, shoulders. And then from here, we're gonna stir the pot. So just start to send the foot out and then bring it back in, making circles. Yeah, nice way to get into the hip. Switch the direction of your stir. And then from here, we're gonna come into a seated half happy baby. All right, so we're gonna switch out the hands. So now the right hand is gonna to come to the outside of the right foot, left hand back beside you. So we're gonna to start to extend that right leg up and then squeeze the knee underneath of the armpit, okay? So you can stay here, right? If you wanna add some abs into this, you can keep that left hand down, but just start to lift that right foot up, right? So you're still squeezing the knee back behind the armpit, but you've got that left foot lifted. Last option would be to come into balance by reaching those left fingertips forward. So you got lots of stuff going on. Hips, balance, abs. <laughs> if you fall out, you can say you tried. One more breath. And then release the left foot down. Release the right foot down. Let's take another twist. So bring that right foot back over the left. This time, just grab onto the knee and then reach that hand back behind you. So go ahead and extend the right arm back. So left hand hugs that right knee, and then right arm reaches back, fingertips long. Final breath here. And then bring that arm around, sweep it in, release the knee, or nose towards the knee or forehead, just take a moment. Lift the head up, unwind the leg, send it out, and then here we go. Pull that left foot in, grab it onto the outside of the foot with the right hand, left hand grabbing into the outside of the knee. Start to take your side to side, got your little baby rocking here. Yeah. 
All right, let's stir the pot. So send the foot out and then bring it around, just making circles, still holding on to the foot if you can with that hand. And then switch the direction. All right, let's find our way into that half happy baby. So switching out the hands, we're gonna bring the left hand to the outside of the left foot, right hand beside you. We'll start by reaching that left foot up and then bringing that knee to the outside of the rib cage underneath. All right, so again, lots of options. This is a really great place to be if you just wanna work into the hip, okay? If you wanna take it a little bit more, then you can start to lift up, finding that sweet spot, okay? Left or right foot lifted. Last option, really working into the balance. Knowing that balance is like 90% core, right? Maybe lifting the hand up wherever you are for three, two, and one. Nice work. Left foot drops down, bringing that right foot over. Here we go. Squeezing in for a hug with that right hand and then sweeping the left arm back. We'll look back towards the thumb. Feeling that nice rotation through the rib cage and that belly. Squeeze it in. One more breath. And then come in for the hug. Just sweep the left arm around the knee, releasing the nose with the forehead. Lift the head up and from here. Go ahead and unwind yourself. Extend both legs out. Give it a little bit of a shake. From here, arms reach to the sky. And then send those fingers forward, palms facing in towards one another. We're lowering all the way to our back. So belly pulls in, shoulders plug in, and then on a slow count of five, coming down all the way to the mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, all the way down. Once you get there, squeeze the knees into the chest. And because we took our half happy baby, let's take our whole happy baby. So you choose, maybe it's peace fingers finding the big toes, maybe it's hands finding the outsides of the feet. However, we release that tailbone to the ground. We squeeze the knees in towards the armpits. And when you're still, it's actually not happy laughing baby, it's dead bug. And so wouldn't we much rather be a happy laughing baby than a dead bug? That means we're just gonna rock and roll a little bit from side to side, finding a little bit of movement, really pressing that tailbone down into the ground. Okay, so one more breath. And from here, one of my favorites, bringing the soles of the feet together. Interlace your fingers on the knife edge of your feet. Start to squeeze those feet in. So knees go wide, lift your head up, and maybe one day, toes come to the forehead. <laughs> nice. We'll lower the head back down. Go ahead and bring the knees into the chest for a squeeze. And let's take one final twist on either side. Arms go out like a T. And then knees all over to the right. If there's any variation you'd like to take here and your some fine twist, you can extend a leg, you can take eagle legs. Lots and lots of options. Go ahead and come on back through center. Allow those knees to fall over to the left and then gaze to the right. Last time to bring it in and wrap your arms around your knees, lift your forehead up, give yourself a great big well-deserved hug. And then lower the head down, extend the legs long, releasing your arms by your sides, palms face up to the sky, coming into Savasana. Give yourself these next two minutes, just two minutes. And I know 
when we're at home, it's really hard to take Savasana and we're thinking about where we need to be in the next step, but really give yourself this gift. Give yourself this time to feel all of the effects of your practice. Maybe coming back to that intention, deciding if your intention is something that is worth holding on to, or if it was simply there to guide you, feeling free to let it fly away. Feeling heavy and peaceful. Take a great big breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. Very slowly beginning to reawaken the body. Wiggling out through fingers and toes circling through ankles and wrists. Eventually reaching the arms overhead for a great big full body stretch. Reaching through the fingers, pointing through the toes. Hugging the knees into the chest. Again, great big well-deserved hug. And when you're ready, allowing yourself to fall into fetal position. You are a miraculous light made of the elements present at the beginning of time, breathing all of the molecules of the beings that have been present throughout time. You are a son and a daughter of the Great Mother. So rise up and claim this space in this dance we call life. Very slowly beginning to press your way into a seated position Again, just crossing the legs in front of the body. And again, joining the palms at your heart center. Breath comes in. Breath goes out. Thumbs to your forehead. May all beings be happy. May all beings be loved and may all beings be safe. I bow to each of you in namaste.
Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Christina. Thank you so much for being here with me, guys. I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Maybe I will see you on Saturday. I teach at 11 o'clock on Saturday mornings too. So have a great week. Enjoy the warm weather. We deserve it. <laughs> yes, thank you. Bye, everyone.